Even though I write about the human race, the further away I am from them, the better I feel. I do not like the human race. I don't like their hairdos. I don't like their automobiles. I don't like their dogs or their cats or their roses. You lose what individualism you have. If you have enough, of course, you retain some of it. But most don't have enough, so you become watchers of game shows, you know, and things like that. And you get married like marriage is a victory, and you have children like children is a victory. People are nailed to the processes. Up, down, do something. Get up, do something, go to sleep. They can't get out of that circle. You get caught into the stricture of what you're supposed to be and you have no other choice. You're finally molded and melded into what you're supposed to be. I didn't like this. There's no glory in it, there's no steam, there's no fire. Stranger stands next to stranger, chattering gibberish fear, anxious fear, anxious laughter. My baby, my flower pot, my ceiling, my bank account. People are just not good to each other. People so tired, mutilated, either by love or no love. kind of like, you know, when you see a fog in the morning when you wake up before the sun comes out. It's just there a little while and then it burns away quickly with the first daylight of reality. People are not good to each other. I suppose they never will be. I didn't ask them to be. But sometimes I think about it. Perhaps if they were, our deaths would not be so sad. Surely there must be a way we have not yet thought of. Who put this brain inside of me? It cries, it demands. It says there is a chance. Let it die, I say. Let there be a new beginning. You'll see, someday they'll say, Bukowski knew. That's all, that's a long speech, isn't it? But it means something. Good night.